Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here with Automate with Jonathan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to click a button uh, with Selenium and Python. So I'm going to kind of work backwards here because this will depend on, on your level of knowledge. If people are just looking for the method, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's the dot click method, right? But I'm going to work backwards and show you how you get there. So so with this dot click method, what we're doing is we're applying it to this element that we've found using uh, our driver, right? So, so let's back up a bit. We have four imports here from Selenium import web driver, from Selenium uh, dot web driver dot com dot buy import buy, from Selenium dot web driver dot chrome dot options is the options. And this is just to run it headless. Uh, this is to select the class, and then this is just to instantiate the driver. So these four things are kind of necessary to, uh, to, to, to get this running. Okay. Here you can see we set the location of the Chrome driver. Here we set our options. We're not running headless, which means it opens a browser every time. So, so what do we do? Like we're getting this page here, and this is just a page on my, on my blog that I made as a dummy page. And we're loading that page with the driver using the get method. And then once we get that, once we load that page, we create, we get select the element here using driver dot find element by equals by class name. So it's using this, this library by dot class name. And the value here is single add to cart button. So where does that come from? Let's have a look. So I'm going to this page. You can see the URL corresponds with the uh, with the URL in our script. And then, if I want, we're clicking the Add to Cart button here. So we're inspecting it, um, and you can see this button is using the CSS class of single add to cart button. And you can see here, single add to cart button. So you just have to match that up with the button you want to click. And then with your uh, variable name or element name, uh, you just want to use the dot click method. And let's run that and see how it goes. So we click the play button to run it. It's going to load the dummy page I made. And you see right there, it, it added it to cart. Real simple. Um, you could, there's a million things you could do with this. Like you could create a recurring script that, that, that tests whether or not you can add something to cart. You know, it, it's good for testing. So if you get anything out of this video, uh, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Consider subscribing. I do these very basic tutorials every single day. Thank you very much.